Ever wondered how the sun, a gigantic ball of hot glowing gas, can possess a magnetic field? It might seem like something out of science fiction, but it's a reality that's as fascinating as it is complex. The sun, despite its fiery, gaseous exterior, is a magnetic powerhouse. Its magnetic field, a product of unfathomable forces at work deep within its core, is the key to some of the sun's most dramatic and visually stunning phenomena, sunspots and solar flares. Sunspots, those dark patches we occasionally see dotting the sun's surface, are areas of intense magnetic activity. Solar flares, on the other hand, are sudden, bright eruptions that shoot out from the sun's surface, releasing incredible amounts of energy. They are the sun's way of balancing its own magnetic field. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of the sun's magnetic field, sunspots, and solar flares. The sun's magnetic field isn't static. It's dynamic and ever-changing. Have you ever wondered where this magnetic field comes from? It's all thanks to a process known as the dynamo effect. You see, the sun's core is a nuclear furnace where hydrogen atoms fuse together to create helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. This energy travels outward, driving convection currents in the sun's outer layers. The sun's outer layer, or the convective zone, is a sea of hot, swirling plasma. As this plasma churns and flows, it drags the sun's magnetic field lines around, creating a complex and tangled magnetic field. This movement of conductive plasma acts like a dynamo, generating and maintaining the sun's magnetic field. It's a bit like a giant electrical generator, but instead of wires and magnets, we have plasma and magnetic fields. This dynamo effect isn't a steady, constant process, though. It ebbs and flows in a cycle, known as the solar cycle. Approximately every 11 years, the sun's magnetic field flips. The north magnetic pole becomes the south, and vice versa. This cycle influences the sun's magnetic activity, leading to periods of high and low solar activity, which we observe as solar maximum and solar minimum. Now you might be wondering, what does the sun's magnetic field look like? Well, if you could see it, you'd find it's not as simple as the Earth's. The sun's magnetic field is a complex and dynamic structure, filled with loops and arches. At the surface, the magnetic field lines pop out, creating bright patches we call active regions. These active regions are the birthplaces of sunspots and solar flares, but we'll delve into those fascinating phenomena later. Deeper inside the sun, there's the toroidal magnetic field, stretching around the sun's equator like a giant donut. And then there's the poloidal field, running along the sun's rotation axis from pole to pole. These two components constantly interact, influencing each other as they're twisted and churned by the sun's plasma. The sun's magnetic field extends far beyond the sun itself into the solar system. It carries solar particles with it, creating the solar wind. This magnetic field, or the heliosphere, acts as a shield, protecting the solar system from cosmic rays. The sun's magnetic field plays a crucial role in shaping our solar system. It's responsible for the breathtaking auroras we see on Earth, and it's also behind some of the most destructive space weather events. But most importantly, it's a key player in the life of our sun. Thus, the sun's magnetic field, a product of the solar dynamo, is at the heart of many solar phenomena. Dark, cooler regions scattered across the sun's surface. These are sunspots. Despite being cooler than the surrounding solar material, they are still incredibly hot, with temperatures reaching about 3,500 degrees Celsius. A sunspot can be likened to a storm on the sun, brewing with intense magnetic activity. Sunspots are the result of the sun's magnetic field pushing through its surface. Think of it like a rubber band that's been twisted too much. Eventually, it snaps, right? In the case of the sun, when the magnetic field lines become too twisted, they poke through the surface, creating sunspots. These sunspots can last for days to months, depending on the complexity of their magnetic fields. But where do sunspots come from? They are born from the sun's magnetic field. When magnetic energy accumulates, it can cause a portion of the sun's surface to cool down, leading to the formation of a sunspot. This spot then evolves, growing in size and complexity before eventually decaying and disappearing as the magnetic energy disperses. Now, sunspots don't just appear randomly, they follow a specific pattern known as the solar cycle, which lasts about 11 years. At the beginning of the cycle, 
the sun is quiet with few sunspots. But as the cycle progresses, sunspots become more frequent, reaching a peak known as the solar maximum. After that, the number of sunspots begins to decrease, marking the start of the next cycle. Observing sunspots isn't as straightforward as it might seem. They are best viewed at the sun's edge or limb, where the contrast with their surroundings makes them more visible. This is no easy task considering the sun's blinding light and the Earth's atmospheric interference. But thanks to modern technology, we have telescopes equipped with special filters that allow scientists to observe these fascinating phenomena safely and in detail. Sunspots are also classified based on their structure. The simplest ones are categorized as alpha sunspots, which possess a single magnetic polarity. More complex sunspots, known as beta and gamma sunspots, contain multiple magnetic polarities within a single group. The most complex ones, delta sunspots, have opposite polarities within the same penumbra, a region surrounding the darkest part of the sunspot. This classification is key to understanding the magnetic behavior of sunspots and predicting solar activity. Sunspots, with their intense magnetic activity, are crucial to understanding the sun's magnetic behavior. They are a window into the inner workings of our star, revealing the intricate dance of magnetic forces beneath its fiery surface. So the next time you look up at the sun, with proper eye protection, of course, remember the fascinating world of sunspots, silently shaping the sun's magnetic landscape. Imagine a burst of radiation erupting from the sun's surface. That's a solar flare. These spectacular phenomena are the sun flexing its magnetic muscles, releasing vast amounts of energy into space in a matter of minutes. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation that occur when the stored magnetic energy in the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released. Think of it as the sun having a magnetic tantrum. It's a rather complicated process, but in simple terms, it involves the reconnection of magnetic field lines near sunspots, which leads to a sudden release of energy in the form of light and high-speed particles. These flares vary greatly in their intensity. Some are barely detectable, while others are so powerful they can be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Astronomers classify solar flares based on their brightness in X-ray wavelengths. The smallest ones are classified as A-class flares, followed by B, C, M, and the largest, most powerful flares are classified as X-class. Each class is 10 times more powerful than the one before. So, an X-class flare is 10,000 times more powerful than an A-class flare. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with us here on Earth? Well, solar flares can have a significant impact on space weather, and consequently, on our planet. When a solar flare erupts, it releases a burst of electromagnetic radiation that travels across space at the speed of light. Depending on their intensity, these flares can cause temporary disturbances in Earth's ionosphere, affecting radio communications and GPS signals. In extreme cases, solar flares can lead to geomagnetic storms, disturbances in Earth's magnetic field caused by changes in solar wind. These storms can cause serious problems for our technology-dependent society, disrupting power grids and satellite communications. But on the flip side, they can also lead to one of nature's most stunning displays, the auroras or northern and southern lights. Throughout history, there have been several notable solar flare events. One of the most famous is the Carrington event of 1859. English astronomer Richard Carrington observed the largest solar flare in recorded history which caused a geomagnetic storm so powerful that telegraph systems across Europe and North America failed, some even catching fire. The event was so intense that auroras were reported as far south as the Caribbean. More recently, in 2003, an X-28 solar flare, the most powerful ever recorded, erupted from the sun. Thankfully, this flare was not directed towards Earth, otherwise the damage to our modern technology could have been catastrophic. It's fascinating to think that these immense bursts of energy, happening 93 million miles away, can have such an impact on our daily lives. Understanding solar flares and their potential effects is not just an interesting scientific pursuit, but it's also crucial for protecting our technology and infrastructure. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our sun and its magnetic field, 
we're constantly learning more about these powerful solar events. With every new discovery, we're not only gaining a deeper understanding of our nearest star, but also of the dynamic and interconnected universe we're a part of. In essence, solar flares are dramatic displays of the sun's magnetic power. They serve as a stark reminder of our sun's immense energy and the intricate dance of magnetic forces happening on its surface every second of every day. So, the next time you look up at the sky, remember, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Sunspots and solar flares aren't isolated phenomena, they are intimately connected. The dance between these two solar events is a fascinating ballet of magnetic forces playing out on the grandest of stages, our sun. Let's start with sunspots. These are areas on the sun's surface with strong magnetic fields, appearing as dark spots due to their lower temperatures compared to the surrounding areas. Now, picture these sunspots as tightly coiled magnetic springs. When the magnetic tension becomes too high, it triggers a solar flare, a violent release of energy that can catapult particles into space at close to the speed of light. This process, known as magnetic reconnection, is the key to understanding the relationship between sunspots and solar flares. It's where the magnetic field lines within a sunspot twist and warp until they snap and reconnect, leading to a sudden release of magnetic energy. This energy, converted into heat, light and particle acceleration, creates the spectacular light show we know as a solar flare. But here's the intriguing part. The number and complexity of sunspots could potentially give us a heads up on solar flare activity. Scientists have observed that periods with more sunspots often coincide with increased solar flare activity. And it's not just the numbers. Sunspots with more complex magnetic fields are more likely to produce significant flares. In essence, sunspots serve as the birthplaces of solar flares. And by monitoring these sunspot nurseries, we might be able to predict the onset of a solar flare. This possibility is exciting, as it could provide us with valuable lead time to protect our space-based and Earth-based technologies from the potentially damaging effects of solar weather. In conclusion, the interplay between sunspots and solar flares is a testament to the intricate and dynamic nature of our sun. It's a constant reminder that even though we are millions of miles away, the sun's magnetic tantrums can have far-reaching effects. Understanding the link between sunspots and solar flares brings us closer to predicting and mitigating the effects of solar weather. Observing the sun's magnetic field isn't a job for your average telescope. It requires a specialized set of tools and technologies stationed both here on Earth and up in the vast expanse of space. Ground-based solar observatories play a critical role in our understanding of the sun. Equipped with state-of-the-art solar telescopes, these observatories provide a detailed look at the sun's surface and the magnetic activities happening there. They delve into the intricate details of sunspots, track their evolution, and even catch the dramatic play of solar flares. However, our earthly vantage point has its limitations. That's where space-based solar observatories come into play. These observatories, such as the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, and the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, provide an uninterrupted view of the sun from space. They not only evade the limitations of Earth's atmosphere, but also offer a comprehensive view of the sun, capturing its every move in high definition. The SDO, for instance, monitors the sun's magnetic field round the clock, providing us with invaluable data on the solar cycle and magnetic activities. SOHO, on the other hand, keeps an eye on the solar wind and the corona, helping us understand the sun's influence on space weather. These observatories are equipped with advanced instruments that measure the sun's magnetic field strength and direction. They map the magnetic field lines that arch from the sun's surface into space, tracing the path of solar material and energy. And it's not just about observing the sun. These observatories are also about innovation. Over the years, advancements in solar observation technology have led to the development of high-resolution images, spectrographs and magnetographs. These tools have significantly enhanced our ability to observe and understand the sun's magnetic field. In the end, it's a combined effort of ground and space-based observatories that unravels the mysteries of the sun's magnetic field. And let's not forget the role of technology. 
With advancements in technology, our understanding of the sun's magnetic field continues to improve. Why should we care about the sun's magnetic field, you may ask? Well, it's not just about unraveling the mysteries of our closest star. It's also about protecting our modern way of life. You see, solar flares and other solar activities can cause geomagnetic storms, which can disrupt power grids, satellites, and even our GPS systems. By understanding the sun's magnetic field, we can better forecast these space weather events and protect our infrastructure. But the importance extends beyond our little blue planet. Studying the sun's magnetic field can shed light on stellar dynamics and broaden our understanding of the universe. It can help us comprehend how stars are born, live, and die. It can even provide insights into the behavior of exoplanets around their host stars. So, you see, studying the sun's magnetic field is more than academic curiosity. It's crucial for our survival and understanding of the universe. The sun's magnetic field, sunspots, and solar flares are all pieces of a complex solar puzzle. Let's briefly recap. The sun's magnetic field, generated by a dynamo effect, undergoes cycles that influence its activity. Sunspots, darker and cooler areas on the sun's surface, form and evolve in line with these cycles. Solar flares, powerful bursts of radiation, are classified based on their intensity and can have notable impacts on Earth and space weather. The intriguing link between sunspots and solar flares lies in magnetic reconnection, which triggers these radiant outbursts. Observing these phenomena requires ground-based and space-based observatories, with technology constantly advancing to improve our understanding. The study of the sun's magnetic field is crucial, not only for space weather forecasting and protecting Earth's infrastructure, but also for understanding stellar dynamics and the universe at large. Ongoing research and future prospects for solar magnetic field studies promise exciting revelations. As we continue to explore the mysteries of our sun, one thing remains clear. The sun's magnetic field is central to its dynamic behavior and indeed to life here on Earth. We hope you enjoyed our journey into the sun's magnetic mysteries. The universe is a vast, complex, and fascinating place, and we've only just begun to scratch the surface. If you found this video informative and want to learn more about the wonders of the cosmos, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us continue to bring these exciting topics to life. Don't forget to leave your thoughts, questions, or ideas for future videos in the comments section below. We love hearing from you and appreciate your feedback. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into the universe. We have a lot more exciting content in store for you. Thank you for watching and remember the universe is yours to explore. Keep exploring.